I'm 82 years old. Uh, my body is clearly in decline like it is for most 82 year olds. I've been an active person all my life, never smoked, never had diabetes. My weight has been stable pretty much where it is my whole life. My diet is probably great by present day standards and has been for decades. I walk a few miles every day. Then all of a sudden I was hit by this pain that brought me to a stop. It was in my right calf. So I stood in place for a minute or two and it resolved. And so we began walking again. But in less than a fraction of a block, it was back and with the same intensity and the pattern just kept repeating. I went immediately to my primary care doctor and told him about the symptoms and he tried feeling my pulse in my foot and near my ankle. He couldn't feel it. We decided the next thing to do is to see a vascular surgeon. They determined that um, the blood pressure at my ankle, measured at my ankle, was just a little over 50 percent, a little over half of what it is in the normal place where it's taken, the brachial pressure. Uh, if you don't have peripheral artery disease, those two pressures should be roughly the same. Mine being just a little over half was considered serious. So the question is, can a person like me get peripheral artery disease? Does that make sense? And can I even end up in the so-called end stage of peripheral artery disease, which is chronic limb threatening ischemia, goes by CLTI? So the answer to that question is yes. I definitely have both of those afflictions in spite of doing all the things that are considered right. What I decided to do is walk every other day roughly and on the days in between I rode my stationary recumbent bike and placed great demands on my quads and my hamstrings and things like that and lo and behold it was correlated with better walking. I went from being able to walk only a quarter of a block before I stopped in terrible pain to being able to walk more than four miles with no rests with minimal pain. It was so dramatic. Vascular Cures, I think, is a completely amazing organization to me because it's exactly what I picture, where surgeons are getting together and interacting and listening carefully to patients and vice versa. Um, caregivers are involved, researchers are involved. Sort of a perfect teamwork approach to a major affliction. And if anything can end up yielding an improvement in quality of life, I think it's a team of that type. Mm -hmm.